Hey, what's going on everyone? This is KDK Kildike and welcome back to the channel. Today we take you right back to EVO 2024 and I wanted to give you guys some additional video footage uh, that really doesn't take place at EVO. It takes place on the showroom floor outside of the additional tournaments. Now I know EVO is pretty much known for, or what you guys may have typically seen, are live streams on Twitch and YouTube. But uh, for this video, uh, they have a lot of rare arcades here. Some I've never seen before, uh, some I've, I have played before. And then we also have some custom arcades uh, exclusively made for 2KX, uh, 2XKO. That's a new fighting game uh, coming out. But I know a lot of you subscribers here on the channel, you love arcades. I love them too and didn't want you guys to miss out on this opportunity. Now, the tickets there are pretty expensive for what you get, not including hotel and food and everything for the most part. But I've never really seen a full walkthrough of the arcade section and I don't know if they've had this many arcades before. So I won't do a lot of talking. Just want you guys to enjoy the video, see what they have here at the event and let me know what your thoughts are below. So without further ado, you know what time it is. Let's get into it. Oh, 
Oh, Saturday night slam matches. Final fight. Battle toads. The Punisher. I first played that game when it came out, 93. Yeah. on the other side.
It's pretty cool they got all these in here. <laughs> I'm just a bad. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'll come back over this way.
All right, looks like we have a traditional Marvel vs. Capcom 2 cabinet. However, it doesn't look like it's in working order, but if they do, uh, probably to get it set up maybe today or tomorrow, we'll get some footage of it. games that I haven't seen before. Like this. Imagine like eight race cars or 12 all connected in the arcade. All right, so that pretty much concludes our walkthrough. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Um, again, I know it was kind of lengthy, and obviously I didn't talk a lot, but for the most part, you know, again, I like to show off things like this for the event and make you feel like you're actually there. Again, I spent about uh, $1,600 alone just on hotel rooms, not including food and other uh, transportation. But personally, I think Evo is really expensive for what you're getting out of it. In fact, even if you compete, I really don't think that the prize money really offsets the cost of what things are going to cost. So for example, if you're a family, husband and wife, couple, whatever the case might be, and let's say you have a kid or a child who wants to compete, you're paying not only for you to get into Evo, but you're also paying for your wife, your child, or maybe another child too, because obviously they need adult supervision. So that could easily add up. I mean, I bought tickets for myself and my wife for the first, uh, and my nephew for the first two days, and roughly, uh, we went for two days, uh, actually two days, roughly cost us about maybe $400, $450 just for those tickets alone. Now keep in mind, we did not compete. So imagine if you have a family where you're a parent, uh, you're a couple, whatever the case might be, and you want your child to go, you're having to pay that additional cost just to chaperone them and you're not even competing. I really wish that they would have some additional costs or breakdowns for people who are just attending, maybe uh, parental guidance or something of that nature. But in the most part, this event is really expensive for what you get, you're going to get. And for the most part too, uh, what if your kid doesn't win? A lot of people left after the first day. The first day on Friday was really crowded. Uh, it was really t difficult to get in. Second day, I mean, you could just walk around to many of the places and um, I was able to play 2XKO multiple times on that Saturday morning. But again, we'll discuss all of that in a next follow-up video, but those are just some of my brief concerns about the event. Although we did have a nice time, I do think uh, things like that should be kept in mind for EVO. So make sure you guys hit the notification bell, like and subscribe. I will catch you guys later. I will have some more additional 
news information and updates uh, on Evo as well as additional things I'm working on out here on the channel. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.